How's it going, everyone? It seems like this has been a very big discussion point over the last 24 hours. Some people aren't really phased by it and are still incredibly excited for Skate. Uh, now we know it's called Skate. It's not Skate 4. It is Skate 4. You guys get the idea. However, the big news coming out of yesterday is, yes, that Skate will be a free-to-play title. And, you know... It's EA, it's a free-to-play game, that is immediately going to spark a level of pessimism from people, and I can understand why it definitely did the same for me, but I am going to try to stay cautiously optimistic, you know, there's been free-to-play games that EA has put out. That haven't been the worst thing in the world, however, uh, definitely this is a cause for concern, especially for someone like me and a lot of you guys that are excited for this game. Why did we get excited for Skate in the first place? Well, we have incredibly fond memories of our time with Skate, Skate 2, and Skate 3. Well, those games were new release $60 titles, or maybe $50 at the time, but nonetheless, they were premier titles that we were dropping top dollar on, and the fact that Skate is going free-to-play is going to be something that does cause a lot of concern for people. So Skate will be a free-to-play title. It'll feature cross-play support and cross-progression between last-gen, next-gen, and PC that's been confirmed by EA and developer Full Circle. A mobile version is also in development, and it's in the works. Specific release dates have not been outlined yet. But we'll keep you posted. I imagine that this is going to be something that uh, will also be on Nintendo Switch. I mean, if it's coming to mobile, I would imagine it's going to be on Switch, but we'll see how that's going to turn out. Uh, it was noted, it's not Skate 4. That's coming from the creative director. And here's the reason. This isn't a sequel. It's not a remake. It's not a reboot, a prequel. It's not any of that. It's not a remake or a remaster, whatever you uh, you can do. That This is it. Skate. We're in this for the long haul. That means we're not in uh, iterative title. There won't be a skate 5 through 10 We won't be pumping them out all the time. We're going to do this We're going to listen to what you guys say over the course of time and put the features that you guys uh, you guys Want into it. Okay, and one more time for the people in the back. It's skate. It's not skate for just skate period That's why we put a little period after it um, Also, we have the ambition to keep supporting skate for years to come. So this is a game that's going to be evolving for a long time that's the case with any free-to-play game but it's also a cause for concern for me because when i buy a 60 dollars game usually and maybe that's not the case as much these days but you expect to get you know a full premiere game on day one sometimes you know that doesn't that don't really happen anymore but like you would expect that um in the case of a free-to-play game we'll see how much content is available right out of the gate but it's going to determine uh you know it's going to be a game that yes it'll get updated it'll evolve but it needs to have a core audience and it needs to have a player base that's invested into the game and that is just something that's incredibly unpredictable now in the case of skate it's a game with a lot of nostalgia attached to it even though it's going free to play and there is this level of pessimism that has been inspired by uh this announcement i still think it's going to be incredibly popular at least right out of the gate and uh i think a lot of people are also trying to remain cautiously optimistic just because we want this game to be really good it was noted our vision was not a game that you'd play through and beat, but something that you can regularly come back to and discover new things. Our dream is that Skate never ends, and in order to do that, we'll be actively supporting Skate with new gameplay elements and tweaks, new content releases and events, and lots of seasonal drops. Skate will feature microtransactions, of course. Any free-to-play game is going to do that. They're just not going to drop a free-to-play game without microtransactions. That's just not going to be sustainable, but it's how those microtransactions are implemented. It was noted when we were looking at this model, we looked at the versions of it out there and we liked and what we didn't like and we're still continuing to explore different options but we are taking inspiration from games like apex legends or other popular titles that are free to play where spending money is totally optional and it's mostly about cosmetics and convenience with such a model we'll be able to keep the community united between the players who decide to spend and those who don't and that means that those social connections those friendships made in game can flourish without splitting our audience which i think is always important and as for a release date, it was noted it'll be out when it's ready. So this all came from a live stream that happened yesterday. And, uh, you know, again, a lot of skepticism. And again, I think it's good to have a level of cautious optimism just because the little we've seen of this game has mechanically looked pretty good. And if they can implement that to the overextending uh, elements of the game and it can be a full featured game that has a lot of quality elements, it has a lot of content, and uh, you know, they deliver. If they deliver a high quality game, then I am 
totally down to be, uh, for this game to be free to play. Like, that's not that big of a deal. I get that free to play titles have this rap attached to them for some people, but uh, I also think there's a lot of potential uh, for the game to do well. And ultimately, I believe that uh, the development studio deserves the benefit of the doubt that they're going to implement those elements uh, in a quality way. Now, I get it. People have their thoughts on EA and whatnot, but uh, I think the best case is to remain cautiously optimistic here and just hope it turns out pretty well. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't, you're not going to spend any money on it. Unless you get invested into the game and then you want to buy cosmetics or whatever you want to do. But, um, I mean just to try it out and let's hope that, you know, it turns out to be a good game. Because, yeah, the gameplay we've seen thus far has looked pretty darn good. Uh, I, I do question why we didn't get a Skate 2 and 3 remaster. I just feel like that would have been a license to print money and you could have served both audiences there. You could have, you know, shut people up about, you know, this game being free to play when you release Skate 2 and 3 remaster. Maybe this they want this game to be the first foray back into the skateboarding world uh, for EA. I could understand that. And again, I'm trying to remain cautiously optimistic. Look, I loved Halo Infinite. I played the hell out of that. But that was a game that also, uh, based on its name value, had a lot of hype and a lot of players playing it on day one and for the first little while. However, that game has really tapered off as well. And it's lacking uh, support and content. And I hope the same thing doesn't happen with Skate. And uh, that's really the deal with any free-to-play game. It's about sustainability at the end of the day. In the case of Halo, that game still has a definite active user base. And you can get into games no problem. That's not a big deal. But comparatively speaking to where it was and where it is now, it's just really hard to sustain that user base. And I hope that Skate has a more consistent update period. Uh you know, that keeps people invested into the game because I really want it to be good and just because it's free to play, um, you know, there's a lot of quality free to play games. We talk about a lot of free to play games on this channel. I think a lot of people look at the fact that it's EA, it's free to play, and it's a game that so many people have such nostalgic attachment to and it was a game that was a $60 title or I should say a franchise, but they also say this is a brand new game, it's not Skate 4, don't think about Skate 2 and 3, uh, but you know, people are gonna think about Skate 2 and Three. at the end of the day it's called skate you could have called this game i don't know something else not skate and we really wouldn't have thought about that but there's uh th there's attachment towards that skate brand and i think immediately people are going to be thinking about okay this game was uh something that uh, i paid 60 dollars for and change is always going to be a little bit scary and i definitely understand where the pessimism is coming from especially again we didn't get a skate 2 remaster i think we would get, we got a skate 2 remaster i just don't know why they didn't do it uh, the only thing i can think of is they want this game to be their first foray back into the skateboarding world but nonetheless really want to hear what you guys think I know there's a lot of doom and gloom already out there, and I try to come at this video from more of an objective standpoint. I want this to be good. I don't want to just be doom and gloom and be like, oh, it's free to play. I played $60 for Skate 2. Skate 2 was awesome, and now you're going to free to play. This might not be that great. No, there's been other free to play games that have been good, and I'm hoping that this is going to be a high quality title that they are going to remain committed to. The microtransactions aren't going to be crazy, and maybe that is just blissful thinking, and I am an idiot for even coming at it in that direction but i'm hoping for the best here and i'm still hoping it's going to turn out to be a quality title um you know it's not for a lot of people again it's not the free to play aspect it's the aspect of ea and their history with live service games and uh, microtransactions and everything like that gonna reserve judgment gun going to go into this with a cautiously optimistic mindset because that's what the development studio deserves they don't deserve you know people to lambast them right out the gate just for going free to play and a lot of the decisions are probably not made up to the development studio themselves so keep that in mind and that's gonna do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below sound off there as always thank you for watching and goodbye